Okay, welcome back to part two. Uh, we left off with uh, building the room itself, the windows, the doors, and uh, put a camera in here. And uh, we're going to continue on with a little bit more um, modeling. So let's, uh, let's just press ahead. So I'm going to just zoom in on that top view a little bit. And I want to uh, move this up so I can see the whole room. What I want to do is create um, the, uh, uh, I want to be able to uh, do the, uh, sorry, I want to be able to do the uh, baseboards and the crown molding. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to our snaps toggle, uh, make sure it's on vertex. We're going to go over here to line, click on our snaps. And then on the inside line of the ceiling, we're going to just kind of follow that around. Oh. Delete that, start again. So make sure we get nice square. Get that right in there. Okay. So all the way around. Close that off. Okay, turn off the snaps, then go into your front view and just kind of pull it down so you can see it in here. Now we need to create the shape for the uh, baseboard. And admittedly, I'm going to do just something really kind of a simple shape. So I'm going to go maybe like so, like so. And if you do a search online for uh, different shapes of baseboard styles, you can find that. Just want to do something here that is going to uh, look somewhat like a baseboard shape. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. I want to get all these lines as straight as I can here. And uh, let me get this one. Let's open this up a little more. Let's pull this one up straighter. Let's get this one straightened out. down here. Okay. So get that straight. This one I'm going to make it a bezier. I'm going to go to rotate. Just kind of rotate that. And then kind of pull it in a little bit. Let's grab these two. Pull them in a little bit. Let's pull this one in. Okay, so let's grab this uh, line that we've created here for the baseboard, and we're going to go up here, and we're going to go to Sweep. So scroll down to, uh, to Sweep right here, and we're going to use Common or Custom Section, and then we're going to pick our section, and you'll see it throws that section in there. So what I want to do is make sure this is on the inside of that wall. So we'll go here to pivot alignment, make sure it's on the inside, okay. Then I want to grab this shape here, and I'm going to scale it down. And just scale that down, scale that in pretty significantly. Scale it down some more, like so, and in some more. Okay, and let's grab that. Let's go ahead and grab that baseboard. Whoop. Let's grab that baseboard, and let's just pull it down until it's inside that wall, like so, and I want to zoom in here because I want to continue adjusting this, so I'm going to grab this piece, kind of pull that down a little bit, and I want to kind of thin it out a little bit more, okay, I think that'll do. Okay, so now we have that. Um, piece there. So now what we have to do 
is go up here and I want to grab that baseboard right there. I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to convert that to, I'm going to come up here, convert it to inevitable poly. I'm going to come up here. Okay, I want to come here to standard primitives. I'm going to go back up to box. And then I'm going to draw out a box right here by this door. Shift it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that. <coughs> and I'm going to go up here to standard primitives, go to comp compound objects, boolean, and then pick operand B. And we're going to pick that box. And then we now cut out that shape around the uh, frame there, around the door frame. And uh, if you wanted to, you could go back, redraw that spline again. You could use the same shape and you could create the crown molding. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I just showed you. <coughs> but I will uh, put in the crown molding. Uh, before we begin the next lesson, which will be some additional uh, architectural detail. So we'll continue on in the next one. Thanks for watching.